my name is Michael Wanta. I'm from Oregon, Wisconsin, Holy Mother of Consolation Parish. And the, there's a little story that I like to start out with before my vocation story. I was, it was either fifth or sixth grade at Camp Gray, and uh, a priest was either giving a homily or giving a talk or something. And I was looking at him, and I thought to myself, wow, I, I would love to do that when I grew up. And then immediately after I said that, another voice in my head said, no, 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 no. Don't say that because it'll come true. And so in some ways that's uh, foreshadowing, I guess, to my vocation story of how the Lord has called me. And at first, you know, I'm hesitant and like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. So I grew up in a good Catholic family. We went to Mass on Sunday. Our family was active in the parish. Uh, they, my parents taught me how to pray, taught me about the love of Christ. And they passed on the faith as best they could to me. But in some ways, their own formation had been lacking. And so there were certain things that they just didn't know about the faith that they couldn't pass on. And so it was around eighth, eighth grade for me when my family had a conversion and we started learning about these different hidden treasures or what were hidden to us, treasures about the Catholic faith. And so I started to grow deeper in my faith to actually take it on and make it my own. And so we were attending Mass at St. Mary's of Pine Bluff at this time and I got involved with altar serving. I was hesitant to start, but then once I did, I really enjoyed it and loved it. And there's just, there's just a different aspect of the priesthood that you see. You're very close to the sacrifice that's occurring, and you get an interesting glimpse at the beauty of the priesthood in that way. And so that really drew me in, got me thinking about things more. Um, and also in my own interior life, around freshman year, I was you know waking up, praying morning prayer, um, prayer praying my morning prayers, praying prayers in the evening before I went to bed, a daily rosary, throwing in a sixth decade for the girl that I liked, for her sanctity, for her purity. And so I was really um, focusing uh, in and trying to be holy, saying, Lord, where, where do you want to take me? And so I, I realized that the priesthood was an option. It wasn't exactly the most attractive option to me at that time. I struggled with this, you know, where is, where is God going to lead me? And I ended up transferring from the high school that I was going to at that time, uh, Edgewood High School. I transferred over to St. Ambrose Academy, and then going into junior year, I had more of a conversion that other things started to fade more, and the priesthood shone out the brighter. And so I realized that this is maybe where God's le leading me. And so I said, oh, and at that time I was like, seminary, I, I'm sure, I could go to seminary, it can't hurt at all. You know, go there, and you'll form a better relationship with God so that if you're going to be a priest, great. If you're going to be a husband, great. You'll have formed a better relationship with God. The call was there, but it was hard for me to accept it at first. But as time went on, it grew stronger, and I was able to respond to it, uh, respond to God's gift of love with love as well.